Hello, my name is Dan Bell and I'm the Protestant Chaplain at Tufts. Welcome to my home here in Malden, Massachusetts. Today I'd like to share with you one sustaining practice that I'm doing at home in this difficult moment. Like you, my partner and I have been spending a lot of time on our screens these past few weeks, even more than usual. So we wanted to find a non-digital way of doing something creative and meaningful for us and for others. So we decided to decorate some blank postcards that we found and uh, get some watercolors and write some inspiring words on them to send to family and friends. So I'm in the midst of making a card right now, which I'll tell you more about in a moment. But let me uh, share with you some examples. Um, um, there is one that we made of a mountain landscape, which we sent to a good friend who loves the great outdoors. There was another we sent that showed uh, Kermit the frog, uh, and that went to a friend who loves the Muppets. And we even made some special ones uh, that we're keeping here, we're not sending, um, but that we use um, each week, uh, that I use each week for the Protestant service at Tufts. One shows the, the Tufts motto, of course, Pax et Lux. And this other one here uh, has Jumbo uh, with uh, rainbow colors coming out of his trunk. And it says, you are beautiful for you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And that is a quote from the Psalms. So we've sent out all these cards. And before we knew it, we started getting texts and phone calls from our friends and family thanking us so much for uh, this little gesture uh, of love. Um, they really appreciated receiving something in the mail and getting something that was homemade. And uh, so we found that this has been a practice that's not only been sustaining to us, uh, breathing new life into our days here in this apartment, uh, but it's also been a way to breathe life into the people that we care for um, and to help bring some cheer uh, to them. So, um, this is something that we've, we've been doing uh, along with some other practices as well, uh, like making puzzles and going for long walks. Um, but this one has been uh, particularly special to us. Many of the scenes that we create in our watercolors are scenes from nature. As I mentioned, there was that mountain landscape we made. Um, there have been many others. And I don't think that's by accident. It's worth reflecting on this, especially today, Earth Day, from a spiritual perspective. As a Christian, I believe that creation reveals God to humankind as powerfully as scripture does. The Protestant reformer John Calvin wrote that the world was no doubt made that it might be a theater of divine glory. In other words, the beauty of the natural world gives us a glimpse into the wonders of its creator. Some people of faith have felt that creation exists simply to be used and even exploited by us for whatever we need or want. But in recent times, many have begun to see humanity as caretakers of this earth rather than as rulers who dominate it. As we care for creation, we can also celebrate and honor the natural world. Especially now that travel is limited, one way to celebrate and honor nature is by making art that reflects its beauty. I believe that human beings are made in the image of God. And so as we make art, we are able to reflect that image. Indeed, we can be co-creators with God and play that vital role we have in the theater of divine glory that is creation. So here I'm making a watercolor of a sunrise or sunset, take your pick, um, and there's a big wave splashing on the horizon. Um, and I am about to write in this dark permanent ink some words from Psalm 119. 
And the words are, the heavens declare the glory of God. I'm not sure yet who will receive this card, but I hope that it will brighten that person's day. And I hope that watching this uh, little clip right now has brought some light to your day as well. So take good care and may the beauty, indeed glory of creation, fill your heart with peace and joy.